Today, we review the Intel i3-12100F to see if it's worth £95, which it currently retails for. We will test the Cinebench score and we will test six modern games to see how well this CPU copes when we put it up with a capable graphics card of the RTX 3050. The 12100F was released in the first quarter of 2022. It has four cores and eight threads. Its base frequency is 3.3 GHz and its max turbo boost frequency is 4.3 GHz. This is one of the more entry level 12th gen processors, although there are Pentiums and Celerons below this, but this is more or less the most entry level for most people who want to play games or want to do a lot of productivity. So first up we have the Cinebench R23 re results and the 12th gen i3 12100f scored 8445 points in the cpu multi-core test now this is actually more than a ryzen 5 3600 and just a little bit below the ryzen 5 5600x which is around 10,000. as you can see here this the stock cooler also kept our temperatures quite low at only 56 degrees celsius it maxed out at Overall, a very impressive start for a £95 CPU. Now moving on to the benchmarks. GTA 5 1080p high was an average of 151, a minimum of 85 and a maximum of 188. Far Cry 6 1080p high, an average of 88, a minimum of 80 and a maximum of 114. Watch Dogs Legion, 1080p high, average of 78, a minimum of 42, and a maximum of 109. Forza Horizon 5, 1080p high, an average of 96, a minimum of 80, and a maximum of 111. Rainbow Six Extraction, 1080p high, an average of 137, a minimum of 98, and a maximum of 166. Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p high, an average of 60, a minimum of 45, and a maximum of 80. So overall, in all six games, we had an average of 60 FPS at 1080p high or more. So this is a really good show in. We were using the RTX 3050 here, which we're getting 100% usage on. The 12100F is very, very capable in games. So looking at its current value in the UK market, on Amazon, it's currently listed for £95, which I think is a really, really good price. Now, considering you can't really get any Ryzen processor, even first gen, for this sort of price, it's a really great price. And really does pack a punch compared to other more expensive cpus even something like the ryzen 5 5500 is kind of the sort of same sort of speed as this processor and that currently is around 140 or 135 pounds in the uk now granted looking at the h610 motherboards they're not fantastic and the cheapest is £77 in the UK, at least on Amazon UK. This is kind of the trade-off that you have, but altogether, that's only £170 altogether, which considering a Ryzen 5 5600X is currently £190 in the UK alone, this is actually stacking up to be really quite good value, providing you do get the H610 motherboards. If you want to go for the B660 motherboards, it would cost you quite a bit more. You're probably looking about 130 140 and I think by that sort of time, you're kind of needing to upgrade to the 12400F to really get value there. But the H610 motherboards will certainly get you by. So overall, to conclude the review, do I think this processor is great value? Yes, I really do. This is really a fantastic processor. Okay, it's only four cores and eight threads, but it can really pack a punch. And providing you're not running a really high graphics card like the RTX 3080 or something around that level it's going to be perfectly fine up to RTX 3060 level or the RX 6600 XT level so all in all for a very value proposition of around 170 pounds or so this is really quite a good combo of CPU and motherboard here and I would highly recommend it over any Ryzen competitor currently let me know if you're thinking of buying the 12100f or if you currently have one in your system thanks for watching this video 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.